So let us start with the terminology which are uh, involved in your coordination compound. So basically I gave you an idea what is the difference between a double salt and a uh, co complex compound that is which has a complex ion in that. So we already said <coughs> that double salts are going to lose their identity and complex ions are not going to lose their identity. So gradually I'll be explaining about all the terminologies which I'm going to use and then go into the depth of the topic. So whenever we're learning terminology the first important thing you have to learn is what is meant by complex ion. So observe carefully. So basically in your coordination chemistry, complex ion is always denoted by square brackets. Remember, just see square brackets, square, all are square brackets. This all these are complex ions. This is one complex ion. This all these are complex ions. Now, what is important? What does it contain? A complex ion, if I have to define the complex ion in the exam, if they ask you, you have to start your answer like this. It is an electrically charged radical electrically charged radical okay yes what does this contain in the radical you said electrically charged what does it contain it is an electrically charged radical which has two important things what one is a metal atom which is bonded to the ligand by which bond by coordinate covalent bond or dative bond right let us write that so it's an electrically charged radical okay done first point second important thing in which okay electrically charged radical which contains or which has which has a as I said, first would be the metal atom, which has the metal atom linked to, it is linked to what? Every, everywhere, see here, metal, metal, all are transition metals. Everywhere are transition metals. So, where is it linked to? It is linked to either, it can be, now observe carefully, it can be a, okay, ligand, but ligand, nature, it can be an ion or it can be a neutral molecule. So, it is linked to either a Okay, we will write first ligand, that's easy because we have written metal atom here. It's linked to a ligand. A ligand can be a neutral molecule, just like your ammonia, <coughs> CO, yeah, water, so neutral molecule, or the ligand can be an cation. A positive ion the ligand can be an anion or negative ion so these three combinations but how are these two joined these two are okay which has a metal atom linked to a ligand and joined by as i said coordinate covalent bond what is this now coordinate covalent bond or dative bond Right. And how, how is this electron transferred? Always remember, electrons will get transferred from ligand to the metal. So, it's like this. Ligand will donate electrons to metal and this is your coordinate covalent bond. This will have a lone pair of electron and this has a weakened orbital to accept the lone pair of electron and the bond formed between them is called dative bond. Right. So, now this is what is your concept. So, most important thing, you have to start your answer. Right. You could start just, you can write this represented by square brackets over now start with the content speak about the charge after that you can you start metal linked with ligand and combinations are neutral it can be neutral molecule ligand can be neutral and the charge on this will become zero and cationic just like this anionic just like this and what are we joined they're joined from with as i said one will share one will accept so this is how is the position so this is how you're going to define and these are the types i've given you two two examples for each please practice this properly you by the end of the chapter you'll know how to write a complex also but as of now practice these examples